Good morning, I'm Judy Turner Croson, and for many years I worked at the U.S. National Institute of Mental Health in Washington, D.C. Uh, like Judy Chamberlain, I'm from across the pond. Um, since marrying a Brit a few years ago and coming to live in this country, I've been a trustee of the Unity Options of Romney. But I first met Judy Chamberlain in 1978 or 1979, it must have been, at a national conference convened by my office at the U.S. National Institute of Mental Health. This was the early days of what we then called consumer participation. The language is a little bit on the different sides of the Atlantic. And I remember that we specified that every state attending the conference was to bring at least one or two people with first-hand experience of psychiatric services. Judy was there representing Massachusetts, and she preferred to be called a survivor rather than a consumer, which frightened some of us planners. <laughs> In those early days, uh, policy makers and managers sometimes had mixed feelings about consumer participation, and I'm sure that's still true. Um, the need for consumer input was recognized, but there was concern that the so-called survivors or consumers would be too extreme in their views, that it would be impractical to incorporate their ideas. Over the years, these thoughts have changed in both Britain and the U.S. and other places, although not nearly enough, as Fabian alluded to. Um, and it has become commonplace to seek ways that consumers, users, or survivors can influence the services to make them more responsive. Although sometimes, of course, participation is much more meaningful than in other times, and as Fabian pointed out, doesn't always produce results. Judy Chamberlain has been involved in this movement now for three decades if you don't mind my saying so. <laughs> she helped to fund the Ruby Rogers Advocacy and Drop-In Center, which is run by and for people who have received psychiatric services. Her book, On Our Own, Patient-Controlled Alternatives to the Mental Health System, and her numerous articles about related topics have come to be regarded as classics in this field. There's no doubt about that. She is now affiliated with the Center for Psychiatric Rehabilitation in Boston University, where she works on projects concerning recovery and related topics. She's also a co-founder of the National Empowerment Center and is on many boards and committees. She's traveled to many countries to speak at meetings and conferences, often giving the keynote address as she did at an international conference in this country just this week. She's received many awards, including the Distinguished Service Award of the President of the United States. And if you didn't get a copy of her resume, there are some copies back there. It's quite an inspiring um, account of, of what one person has been able to do in this movement. So we're very fortunate to have her with us today. She's not feeling her very best. She's having um, throat problems. So we're hoping that uh, her throat will allow her to give us her entire message <laughs> during the day. And it's with great pleasure that I present to you, Judy Chambers.